हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विथ न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज़ ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप वी आर टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एन बी एम एस सेवन थाउजेंड ऐप सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू दैट वॉट इज़ एन बी एम एस सेवन सेवन थाउजेंड ऐप वॉट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शंस दैन विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल ऑन यूर मोबाइल फोन After that, we'll tell you most important part that how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature. So keep watching till end. Please like, share our video, and subscribe to our channel if are if you are a new one. Now, NBMS seven thousand is a app which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on your mobile phone. It is also used to remove to see the. cameras on remote location over the internet so by using this app you are able to see the live view of the camera not only the live view you can access all its feature like you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you save the live view of the camera you control the ptz camera it means you are able to pan tilt and zoom and you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc and you take the backup of the recorded videos and many more now as far as how you install on your mobile phone is concerned just click open app store and search for nvms 7000 when you do this you find the application here so basically you see when you find the application you see the cloud like option so if you are if you are installing it first time then you should find a get option i already installed it on my phone earlier so that's why i get this cloud like option so whether you click on the cloud like option or a get is it start downloading and installing so let them download to be finish and installation process to be finish now it is finish and now you find the option open just click on the open and now it ask you to select the region so here i select the region and after that it select my country so here i select my country and click press enter when i do this basically this is the interface of the app now first thing i should do and just click on the top left corner and go to the option devices when you click on this devices Just click OK. So, give full access. Now you should find the op two option, right, uh, top right option, and top left option. When you click on top right option, you find the many option like manual adding, scan, scan QR code, Wi-Fi configuration, online device, generate QR code. So basically, when you click on the manual adding. you find the two option ip domain and hid dns and ip server so basically when you click on hid dns it asks for a device domain so basically how should you enable this for this you should go to login your device and go to the setting option and then go to the platform access option over there you find a ddns option and you should enable over when you enable that you find a domain over there you should enter that domain and username and password of the device please note that this is the username and the password of the device it means if you are if you have nvr if you have a dvr then you should enter the username and password of that device of that nvr or the or the or that dvr so don't be confused here and if you click click on the ip server when you click on the ip server it ask for a server server address and identifier okay so you should you should find the same from from there also and if you click on the ip domain then it ask for a local ip address a static ip address and again you ask for username and password you should enter the same username and password of the device I mean dvr and vr and username and password now you found the scan qr code so if you are in front of the device then you should enter 
then you should scan by entering the control panel then device management then select the device and click qr code enter the main menu maintenance system info device info so in the in that way you know that how you to get that qr code if, and if if someone send you that qr code then you buy then you can access the gallery and take the that qr code now the here you find of the wi-fi configuration and online devices so basically when you click on the wi-fi configuration you it's asked for a serial number it means serial number is the number when you find on the back side of your dvr nvr or camera or a sticker if you find on the box also and if you and you should you should have serial number from this device also you should get the serial number from this device now click on online devices so if your uh, device and your mobile both are connected to same network or the same router then you should click on online devices when you click on this you should find that your device comes online like this just click on this okay so basically here is the serial number as i uh, tell you that from this app you should also get the serial number so in this way you get serial number so this is not the full serial number if you see that serial number and you should go to the last character here you find the last character double c double r c so starting from c and the eight eight digit number is basically a serial number so in this way you can see the serial number now after that you should click on add again it asks for a username and password please don't be confused here you should put any name like test device and again go for the username and password please don't be confused it asks a username password of the device device means the dvr nvr whatever you are adding so i should enter my nvr password and click save now just go back let's go back here you see your 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 device is added click on start live view in this way your camera comes online okay now you find option like here you find the single square four square in this way you can change the view of the camera okay now the first option is the screenshot option is starting from the bottom left side the first option is screen is screenshot option just click on this in this way you it will take a screenshot and after that you find the live recording of the if you want to live record of the screen then you should do by this again the stop in this way it, it can record and if you want to uh control the ptz camera you can change then you can you are able to do by this and when you click on the screen you find a very uh, few option like clear it means it is it is on the clear mode but it take more bandwidth and you, if you click on the fluent it take less bandwidth and you can clean custom whatever you type you want okay now just click on that and if you want to check the and just scroll down more and so here you here you find that the speaker option if you want to hear the voice of the camera if the camera is audio enabled then you can do by from that from here if your device is two way audio then you see the uh, you you can communicate with your TV, your camera and here is the zoom option and if you want to check the remote playback means recording of the device then you should click on the top left corner and go to the remote playback when you do this you can find the screen like this just click on the date time and here from here you can select the date time for example if i want to check the recording of 
25th December and from there again I like four like this and select the camera and just click so in this way you can check the record of the of your device so that's all for this video hope you like our video thanks for watching thank you have a nice